What's going on, y'all? Listen, I just saw this on the shade room. I've been out in these streets, but I am floored that this thing is continuing to fuel. So, yeah, I'm just going to play this, um, just a couple minutes of Latasha opening up about an open marriage child, begging Latasha to speak to her and acting as if she just found out about the 30,000 while she was shooting that scene on the reality show. But we'll let her tell it. It's God is dawn. Like and subscribe. Comment some night. Nice love in this light. It's God is dawn. God is dawn. God is dawn. That's caused so much controversy. So much, so many allegations. And I'm like, where's all this stuff coming from? And I know that the enemy is busy. When you pray and you ask for God to, to bless you and, and to order your steps, it comes with scrutiny. It comes with peaks and valleys. And right now I'm in the valley, y'all. And y'all keep poking and y'all keep pushing and y'all keep talking. And I get it. Y'all can say whatever y'all want to say, but do keep in mind, I'm a human being just like y'all. And there's certain things in my life that I'm trying to straighten out, but how can I straighten things out with y'all poking and, and, and accusing me and convicting me? And I'm trying to find answers. I'm trying to find resolve. I can't even get to the resolve because every time I turn around, y'all, y'all saying things about me. What in the world am I doing to y'all? Me wanting to sing has caused so much controversy. Everything to me and our son. And do we have problems? Are we perfect? No, we're not. Is he perfect? No, no, he's not. Am I perfect? I'm not perfect. I'm very aware. I'm very much aware of the allegations that are happening about him. I see everything. As a wife, you know, you see everything. But with our relationship, you know, some people keep the fact that they have an open relationship quiet. They want to keep it private. But we have that. And for us to be judged or whatever, by the things that people are saying, y'all keep judging, y'all keep living, y'all got marriages. Everybody ain't gonna always be true. Things happen. At the end of the day, do I stand beside my husband? I know, y'all think I don't know. I know everything, everything. I'm not oblivious to things. My husband and I, what y'all don't understand, we do have an open relationship. We have spoken about things. That's my, that is my private business. Everything to me and our son. And do we have problems? Are we, for me and my sister, we're going to get it together. You know, we, I'm reaching out. I don't have the answers. I found out about a $30,000 allegation when I watched the TV with y'all. Did I take my sister's money? I did not. We were going through so much 10, 11 years ago as a family. It was one of the things that, I can't lie, we were both at our lowest. We didn't have money. I we I ended up, we all lived, lived with my mother. And that's something that, you know, y'all will see on the show where we say that I didn't have anywhere to live. We didn't. And we pulled through. So when you when you talk about 30,000 that I don't know anything about, all I said is, can we get clarity about it? Because during that time, we, we both were helping one another. I just need clarity. What are you seeing? What are you saying? Because I have my receiving you have yours but we need to sit down as as sisters and not go through this for me and my sister we're gonna get it together social media like on social media it's not good we need to sit down and figure out what this is because we can get through anything but we have to communicate we have to talk to one another because you can't get through anything without that and i've been convicted already of being a thief and i don't even know what you're talking about you put up something online with tamika we both have receipts. We both have receipts. Let's just get through it. What is this? How do we maneuver? How do we get through this? Whatever it is, Tamika, we can resolve it. This is not nothing that we need to perpetuate and continue to move and make people feel away. This is us. We sisters. We've never not been able to talk about anything ever. And I don't feel like because of what's going on in the, you know, in this media that we should use this platform for to down one another or 
to try to make each other feel less than. That's not what this is. We're supposed to be family. And I want my family on social media. Like on social media, it's not good. We need to sit down and figure out what this is because we can get through anything. But we have to communicate. We have to talk to one another because you can't get through anything without that. And I've been convicted already of being a thief. And I don't even know what you're talking about. You put up something online with Tamika. We both have receipts. We both have receipts. Let's just get through it. What is this? How do we maneuver? How do we get through this? Whatever it is, Tamika, we can resolve it. This is not nothing that we need to perpetuate and continue to move and make people feel away. This is us. We sisters. We've never not been able to talk about anything ever. And I don't feel like because of what's going on in the in back, I don't care about nothing else. And I've always said that I don't care about what people say. It's about what I feel like with my sister, how she feels. And I apologize to you, Tamika. If I didn't hear you, if I didn't hear your voice, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best to, to make it. I'm trying to weather storms in my own personal life. It's like, I'm not trying to negate how y'all's feelings are. It's like, I have to still have peace within. I got to be able to understand how to move. I don't have all the answers. Being a big sister, you don't have all the answers. Sometimes I'm a human. But with us, we have to resolve. This cannot dampen or or drag us out or make us feel like we don't love each other. We love each other. The love is never going to go. You Love doesn't just, you can't throw love away. You just can't throw it out the window because something comes on, you know, and you have a, a hiccup in the road. That's not what this is. I love with all of my heart. With all of my heart back, I don't care about nothing else. And I've always said that I don't care about, I want my sister. I love you. Let's talk. I love you. I want my sister. I love you. Let's talk. I love you. Let me see. Did I take what people say it's about what I feel like with my sister, how she feels. And I apologize to you, Tamika. If I didn't hear you, if I didn't hear your voice, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best to to make it. I'm trying to weather storms in my own personal life. It's like I'm not trying to negate how y'all's feelings are. It's like I have to still have peace within. I got to be able to understand how to move. I don't have all the answers. Being a big sister, you don't have all the answers. Sometimes I make mistakes. I'm human. But with us, we have to resolve this. This cannot dampen or, or drag us out or make us feel like we don't love each other. We love each other. The love is never going to go. You, love doesn't just, you can't throw love away. You just can't throw it out the window because something comes on, you know, and you have a, a hiccup in the road. That's not what this is. I love you with all of my heart. With all of my heart. Like, I don't care about nothing else. And I've always said that I don't care about what people say. It's about what I feel like with my sister, how she feels. And I apologize to you, Tamika. Okay. So that's what Latasha had to say, child. Like somebody in the in the chat or the comments said that she was gaslighting her sister. I, I might have to agree with that. I do feel she's backed into a corner. She's now saying they have an open relationship and that will hopefully get rid of the cheating rumors and cheating talk she wants people to basically shut up for her she wants us to leave them alone did you see how aggressive she was when she was to telling me, me, and my to me her business me wanting to sing has caused so much controversy i don't know if you want to sing is what caused the controversy ma'am or the fact that you have treated your sister um like a footstool probably your whole life but you definitely bullied her and I think you were a bully in general to everybody based on what the brat was saying, how you treated Candy back in the day. And we, everybody knows you were the big girl. You, And that's what you hate, that people referenced you as the big girl. But you were a big girl, like a, a guy type big. Like you could have been the group's bodyguard as well as the singer. But all I'm saying to this is, this is something you had inside of you and you clearly still don't really get it i don't think she gets it y'all um tasha k also went live today and 
in the title, it says, it's worse than you thought, Latasha Scott and Rocky Bibbins. So um, I'm going to pull that up too. See what she's talking about while we're here. Why not? Now, I don't know if I'm going to take the time to edit this. So just thank you for your patience. Okay, she's still alive, actually. Huh. Okay, so. Wait, this is not her. Hold on. Oh, I thought that was her channel. That's not, this is her channel. Okay, so she's not live. Okay, let me see. She's got a lot of topics on tonight, but here's Rocky and Latasha. Let's see. Because you were you were fighting for your life. Like, what did I do with my life? I was literally. Let me get to this where I'm at on the screen. What I don't like is for somebody to be out here lying on me. There's enough lies out here about me, but you, sir. And I got receipts to back up everything, and you get your nervous ass on. How are we keeping something in the family when you are on a nationally syndicated radio show to address said rumors about the family? What did you think they wanted to talk to you about? God? Easter? The album they never asked her about? The gospel album? Never asked her about the songs. We haven't even heard an update from Billboard. Rocky, let me tell you what happened. Let me let me let me start from the beginning. First of all, do we have his video of uh, him and Tasha lying, or just him lying? Okay, let's play this video real quick before we get into Tasha. Okay, and this open marriage, half open marriage. Um, let's roll the lies that he said. Now, Rocky, this story with this. This is what really bothered me. My thing is, is, how in the hell can she sit there and be very disrespectful to Latasha going out on site oh. talking about that she was with you for five years, you cried in front of her and stuff? Now, I'm going to come for Gary with the T2. Hold that thought. Keep going. You tongue kiss and all this stuff. That was very tacky. Her. Can y'all not sue her or do something about that? Cause I, I oh. just... Sue who, Gary? <laughs> who, who are they supposed to sue? You you fool for for hoes lying. This one they lie. Keep 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 going. Thought it was very disrespectful. I'm weak behind this wig, child. We dealing with it you know, from a legal standpoint. So mm. the less I say, the better. You know. The okay, so, they oh, so say, it's federal. It's federal. It's not state. It's federal. A lot bigger than that. It's federal. Keep going. I'm listen, doing it. I have to. Yes, come on, man. Listen. You need to. Listen, I'm gonna say this. The other day I got a phone call because I want to address this. I got a phone call. From Tasha K, right? Didn't know I was being you know, recorded. Just talking. She trying to get an interview, and all all of a sudden, the whole world is replaying something I said illegally. You know, because I didn't know I was being recorded, and and, and she called because of this female. It's a bunch of stuff <laughs> that I've been told to be quiet about until it you know plays out in court. Well, I will have to edit this because I did not know the whole time I had it on the wrong screen. Let me do this again here. Okay, well...
going to be. Okay? Listen. So I ain't had no interviews because everybody got canceled. The same day, the same day I got the verdict again, the same day everybody canceled, I said, somebody doing witchcraft. Today, I got to go pray. So I grabbed my Bible. I grabbed my Bible. I said, something's going on today. I said, so I'm in Atlanta and I ain't got no. So I prayed. I prayed to him. I did. You think I'm playing, don't you? I said, Lord, I done came to Atlanta on 42 B. I already done spent this money. My ticket was non-refundable. I got the work, so I had to get creative. I said, you know what? Let me hit you. Let me hit uh, uh, Rocky. I said, Rocky, you want to do an interview and address the 30000 You know what he said? Let me read to you what he said before he went in there. Let me make sure he ain't. Because he ain't stupid enough to delete, delete no messages. Let's see. No, he did not change his uh his damn <laughs> child. He not changed his uh his his Instagram name to Jungle Mad R. He done deleted Rocky Bill and now it's called Jungle Man R. You right. You out here in the jungle for real. <laughs> nah, nah, he in the DM right now. I I'm screenshotting. Don't delete, brother. He he watching the show. Don't delete. So I said, uh, I need to interview Rocky. Let's just keep it a buck. 
position, sir. You you saw the receipts that that woman put out. How is it that you're going to say that they should sue her because she's interrupting a gospel album? The only person that interrupted the gospel album was her and him and they spirits. Yeah. Now let's hit this second part, okay? Since you out here lying on my name, and I'm putting them receipts in Sasha K. Lie.com. I did, I did. It's federal. I, you know what my answer is going to be? It's federal. It's federal. It's federal. I couldn't even get on the phone fast enough for him. Just like I, every time I check my DM, there's another one. Didn't I just read messages from another one? I just read messages from another chick. Another one. I still got a couple more I got to interview. Okay? We ain't even done yet. This is the gospel of Rocky. Listen. Who's next? Natasha. Tasha, Natasha. See, this... Tasha, what's her sign? What's her zodiac sign? What is it, Sagittarius? Libra. What is, it's got to be a Libra. Libras, Libras stay. Libras, like, they don't mind getting cheated on. Libras will lie for them, but they'll be the first person on the internet. He didn't do it. He, he ain't crazy. He, he ain't crazy. She a Libra. Libras stay through thick and thin, okay? They forgive the unforgivable, okay? Libras don't care. Libras will listen, as long as we here and they know that, as long as you keep telling me, it's like Libras, all you got to do is tell them what they want to hear. You ain't got to necessarily follow by action, but as long as your words and they words, they're excellent for men that have been in prison. Listen to me. It's, it's Monique and Libra. I'm telling you, I know shade the Libras, but we, well, look, we, there's a couple, there's a couple out here on the, in the celebrity world. Don't make me get to talking, okay? Let, 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 let's unwind the bullshit here before we go on over there and unwind Mistress 3 to this half over relationship, okay? Go ahead. Everything to me and our son. And do we have problems? Are we perfect? No, we're not. Is he perfect? No, he's not. Am I perfect? I'm not perfect. I'm very aware, I'm very much aware of the allegations that are happening about him. I see everything. As a wife, you know, you see everything. But with our relationship, you know, some people keep the fact that they have an open relationship quiet. They want to keep it private. But we have that. And for us to be judged or whatever, a lot of things that people are saying, y'all keep judging, y'all keep living, y'all got marriages. Everybody ain't going to always be true. Things happen. At the end of the day, do I stand by side my husband? I know. Y'all think I don't know. I know everything. Everything. I'm not oblivious to things. My husband and I, what y'all don't understand, we do have an open relationship. We have spoken about things. That's my, that is my private business. Well, yes, it, it is your private business. You are right. But apparently... He's not getting that. So here's what I'm going to say. Could they have an open marriage? Yes. I just ain't had no side niggas hit me about Tasha. Anybody out here bragging about bagging you and you escape. You the lead nut. You are the lead runner in escape. You are the lead runner. <laughs> Hey, God. 
I even hate involving God. Let me get my No, she didn't pull out I her don't Bible. I think she was asking God to stay well. I right, think she was me... asking Rocky to stay. Here's why. What you're going to hear tonight on TashaKLive.com is where all of Rocky's hoes and mistresses stay. Around the corner from her. Now, here's my thing. Could this be an open relationship? Yeah, but why, why, why wasn't none of this addressed before you did your promo? You're supposed to get in front of stuff like this. I'm starting to think that he's your PR. That's what I'm starting to think. I'm starting to think that Rocky is the one telling you what to say and how to say it because he's worked with everybody. Michael Jackson, R. Kelly. He's been through these types of, of PR shenanigans before, so this is nothing. But see, he did them in a time where journalists had a bit more cool. I'm unhinged. <laughs> I don't have any corporate backing. Do you know what I'm saying? The other person I got on my back is God. I told you. It's me. It's God. Me and Jesus. Jesus said turn the other cheek. I said slap the motherfucker. Okay? Oh, now, wow. what you're going to hear on this interview coming up on TashaKLive.com is something very interesting. Candy, I'm going to leave with this. I'm going to leave with this. Candy uh, uh, introduced Rocky to, to Tasha. Now, a lot of y'all will say, well, why would she, why would, why would the mistress claim that, you know, Rocky and, and, and Candy dated, and that's the reason why Candy and Tasha have this long-standing beef, okay? And I, I believe, listen, let me tell you something, when you the planet, when you're constantly measuring up and you're seeing somebody who you feel is not as good as you are, that doesn't sing as good as you are, that doesn't look as good as you think you maybe look, okay? And they've got everything they've even had your husband, okay? And could have probably still had your husband, had the tables have been turned. Let me tell you something, whenever a friend introduces you to somebody, now grown women know this. I'm talking to the grown women for a second. Put them in the comments. I want to see what their comments are going to be. I'm talking to the grown women about this real quick, okay? When a woman introduces you to a man, she's introducing you to that man because that's somebody that she's considered fucking. Circumstances have prohibited her from fucking them. So, you are the closest thing to her Okay, grown women, listen to me. You are the closest thing to her. So why not fuck her friend, someone that she approves of? It's kind of like being in control of the relationship. You understand? Listen to me. So the fact that Candy, and I don't know for a fact that Candy and Rocky dated, but I don't see why this mistress would lie. Okay? Just like Rocket told her the same story he done told every hoe. Okay? Whenever you have... What's this? Okay. Whenever a friend introduces you to a man, trust me, your friend is either fucked that man or she wanted to fuck him and so she just passing him on to you because the universe said it's not right now. your friend is somebody that you don't consider cute, that you don't consider fuckable. You have to find them attractive. There's something about them that you like. And so guess you do. You go over there and tell your friend, yeah, he did see that. He cool, girl. He got a nice job. He got everything. Everything but you, what you can fuck on right now because your circumstances have not permitted you to do that. So you just gonna pass him along for right now. See, I'm real grown. I'm real grown. So the fact that Tasha, uh, she probably does feel the type of way that this woman probably allegedly fucked on her husband, took her career, she was supposed to be number one, she out here thriving, she right out here living with her mama with this nigga that, 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 that uh, Canada introduced her to, y'all ain't, y'all ain't, uh-uh, y'all are not listening, y'all are not listening, okay? Uh-uh, y'all are not listening. 
that goes on. Underline just long-term hate. If it was the case. But what we can prove is that Candy did introduce Rocky to Tasha, which means she saw something in Rocky that she liked and she wanted to share it with her group member and keep it close. Now, before we head over to TashaKLive.com, thank y'all so much for watching over here. This okay. Well, thank you, Tasha, for that very interesting <laughs> commentary and information. I did hear on her other uh, video about the other mistresses that one of them did say he told her that Candy dated Rocky first. So that's the first, you know, as far as hearing that. But she, Tasha's right. If that is the case, she might also feel a way about Candy being first with Rocky. She had it first. You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, Candy passed him on to you and went on to become, you know, a great success, which obviously y'all didn't. She said they was broke and living with her mama, all of them, including Tamika, when the 30K theft took place, which was, they said, nine, 10 years ago. Nine, 10 years ago, what was Candy doing? How long has she been on Housewives? Prior to that, she was doing all kinds of stuff, right? Writing um, hits for people, doing all kinds of um, things in the entertainment industry. So while that was going on for Candy, these two bums were living with her mama and stealing from her sister. So bump off she, that mess she was talking about, the crying, apologies, she was literally gaslighting that lady. And this is all probably for the sake of her gospel career. She wants to, you know, somebody must have gotten in her ear and finally talked some sense and let her know you are in, you and your husband are looking real crazy out here in these streets. And she finally decided, let me try to back up off of this. And instead of doubling down, let me apologize. So that's what I think all this is about. And um, yeah, I don't want to hear no more about it at this point. <laughs> I'm done with this. But you probably will hear more about it on this channel because, you know, I don't like to let leave things undone, half done. I've started with it. We're going to stick with it. OK, if there ends up being a trial, I'll be sticking with that, too. But until then, um, yeah, we'll we'll see what happens. All right. I think that's all I got. Bye.